welcome back to another installment of Apothecary Wisdom. My name is Maria Chaudhry. I'm a midwife and an herbalist, and I'm the creator of Birth Song Botanicals. And I'm so glad you're here. We're in the midst of a series all about sleep. This video is a part of that series. And today we're going to be talking about and continuing the conversation about nervines and how to get the best sleep ever. So in a related video, we talked about nervines being the, and any herb that has a positive effect on your central nervous system. So you can have stimulating nervines, you could have tonifying nervines, you could have relaxing nervines, and now we're gonna take that relaxing category and we're gonna break it down. You can have sedatives, and then you can have hypnotic, nervines, hypnotic herbs. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hypnotic herbs are herbs that induce a state of deep healing and deep sleep. Right? They don't they don't induce a trance, but they can help you enter a deep profound state of sleep. And they can range from mild to really strong. So some mild hypnotic herbs are chamomile and vervain and then you have a little bit stronger herbs like passion flower and hops and um, i have my list here and wild lettuce and jamaican dogwood and then you have stronger nervines and really i should put hops in the little bit stronger one we're going to make hops a little bit stronger and then we're going to put skull cap with that and then we're going to have valerian which becomes the strongest legal hypnotic herb because then after that you get even stronger and then that becomes like opium poppy right and so that's a conversation i'm not able to have with you but in our related videos that are associated with this one we're going to talk more about passion flower and we've talked about chamomile and we'll talk more about valerian since this is about sleep there is a, a general statement that I feel like it would be safe to say is that these hypnotic herbs can stimulate the body in such a way that since it produces this deep, deep state of restorative and healing sleep, that it's good for the entire body. It's like a heal all. It helps your circulatory system and your heart and your digestive system and your muscles and your muscle tension and your psychology. And then by producing this sleep, inducing this sleep, then it in turn helps, promotes health in all ways. So it's a really important conversation to be having. Sleep right now is just such a vital conversation because a lot of people, I hear people say, I'm so tired. That's why I made this whole video and this whole series. I just want you to remember, this is a really short video right here, but I want you to remember that it's not that you're just gonna have some hypnotic herbs and then solve your insomnia. It's a multifactorial issue. And it takes a lot of lifestyle changes and health and diet and nutrition and movement and life affirming practices that I, I go over that in these videos. So I want you to watch the related video all about sleep and the disturbances of sleep and ways you can get better sleep and the related videos about the herbal remedies that we make that can help you get the best sleep and the related videos about the herbs themselves. So I say, my friends, have a sip, drink deep, and always walk in beauty.